Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So we are obviously not at my vanity. I am actually in my closet. So first of all, I apologize for the crappy lighting if it is a little bit darker than normal because I only have like this one little light in here and then I have some natural light coming in this way, but you understand, you understand, right? So I didn't ever really think I would ever do like a closet tour and I'm not. I was just sitting there one day and I thought, oh my God, I would love to share the stories behind some of these shoes that you see behind me. So I am doing a shoe collection video today and this is in no way intended to show off or anything. I don't really have that many pairs of shoes. Um, these are all just shoes that have a special meaning to me and I want to share some of the stories with you as part of the more lifestyle-y side of my channel. So yeah, I hope you're into this. I hope you like it. I don't know. But um, if you want to see all of this going down behind me, don't forget to please subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell so you know when I post, typically Wednesdays and Saturdays at 9 a.m. Pacific time. So without further ado, uh, let's go ahead and get on into it. So let's start off with the top row. Um, I have this pair of wedges and these are special to me because I bought them for graduation when I graduated college last year um these were the shoes that i wear it's pretty customary to wear like a white dress if you if you're curious to see what i wore this is the white dress i wore it's kind of off the shoulder and these um wedges i've only worn these i think two or three times to graduation and then to my aunt's summer barbecue last year but these will always have sentimental value for me because these are the shoes that i literally wore to walk across the stage into the next chapter of my life. So um, they are great. And this is like a little suede detailing and it's super comfortable actually for a pair of wedges. Next up we have this pair of nude heels right here. These are just your standard regular nude kind of uh, open toed strappy situations. You can dress them up, you can dress them down. They're really, really great versatile shoes. I've worn these a number of times when I went out clubbing for my very first time actually a couple years ago here in Vegas. And then I, most recently I feel like I wore these out to Christmas dinner last year with my boyfriend. They're just great because you can pair them with heels. I think they're a staple in every closet. Next up, I bought these pair in Vegas last year, almost a year ago. I was shopping with my friend here and I got these for $5. We were at a store. I don't remember what store it was, but I remember they had this huge clearance or sale section and I was like, oh my God, these would be perfect. And sure enough, they were my size. I am a size like seven and a half, eight, by the way. And these are a size eight and a half, but they actually do fit because I guess of the cut. But I love how you have like this detailed cage front and then this like fat block heel they're not the most comfortable but again they were five bucks and they are pretty good quality for what you get they're that soft touch material it's good stuff really pretty brown uh peep toe situation these are my only pair of true brown heels in my collection and these are seven and a half and i wanted to get these because i don't really have anything else in my collection like it they're super cute when you put them on and i've worn this a few times i wore this to father's day dinner about two years ago, I think. Like, I keep my shoes around for a pretty long time. I don't have every single pair I've ever owned with me just because a lot of my lesser used pairs are at my parents' house in Los Angeles. These are just the ones that I decided to take with me. Platform uh, heel. These are not the most comfortable and the bottoms are kind of skiddy. So, um, yeah, but they're really, really cute and I just love them. I've worn them a number of times out. I wore them to my roommate's birthday two years ago. They're really great for any kind of special occasion. Then I want to talk about these bad boys. These bad boys are a pair of Steve Madden. Steve Madden is one of my most favorite shoe brands. You're going to see a lot of Steve Maddens here and I'm going to try to breeze through them as fast as I can. But these are a great pair of wedges. They're super high but super dramatic and they have this really pretty gold buckle that actually perfectly matches this dress. Like I've worn this combination before this is an off-the-shoulder black dress from Toby with gold buckles and I love wearing this with this because they look like they were made for each other I've worn this so many times to charity events to um, bars to birthdays they're such a good pair of shoes and they last forever like they've lasted such a long time and then I want to talk about these these are a pair of shoes that are really really cute it's kind of like soft touch suede material um, with a little heel and they do lace up around your ankles these are a great shoe to wear if you're just wearing a plain black dress and you want to dress it up I've worn these a number of times I've worn this to like a charity like fundraiser event I've worn this um I want to say 
I want this a lot of times. It's this weird. is one that I love so much. I don't remember where I got these from, but they're really cute. They're kind of like pointy-toed shoes, but you have this really pretty kind of cage detail, like T-strap situation going on. And these were the shoes I was actually wearing the first night I met my boyfriend in March of 2017. So a year and a half ago, more than a year and a half ago. And um, I will always keep them for this memory. They're really great and super comfortable. I've worn them out to dinners all over Vegas and I think they're really cute and pretty unique, right? Okay, moving down to this aisle, I'm going to try to breeze through these as fast as I can. I have three pairs of flats. I have um, this pair that I've had for forever. They're just nude flats with little like holes in them, like that really cute detail. This is like my baby. These are a pair of Tory Burch flats. They're very expensive, but the material honestly is so soft and they're very, very durable. Like this is something that I know that you can just throw into any outfit if you're going to work, if you're going to a business casual event, if you're going to an event where you don't want to wear heels, but you still want to look like kind of put together. These are great and they are the mini flat. So technically you can fold them to travel with like this and put them in a pouch. I never really do that because I just store them here, but these are a size I want to say they're size 8. This is the French gray version, but they have a number of other colors and I highly recommend them if you're looking to invest in a good pair of flats that will just last you a really long time. And then I have this pair of Dr. Scholl's flats. They're just really plain black flats. I think my mom got these for me, but Dr. Scholl's, if you don't know, makes like really comfortable cushion inserts for shoes to make you feel like you can, you know, walk for a long time and they're very padded. These shoes immediately remind me of my journalism career in college when I would study, go do interviews and film packages for my broadcast major. I would nine times out of 10 wear these flats because they're so professional looking, but they're so comfortable so you can walk for a long time. I would wear this to city hall for council meetings. They're just a really good pair of flats and I love them because of all the memories of like the Pro not professional, but the academic side of college and my major um, associated with these pairs. So they're really good. And then I have this pair of kind of like these chunky sandals. These are by the brand Restricted. They're like this kind of uh, orange, not orange. They're this like copper brownish tan with this little heel. I actually wore these all over New York City. I remember one day we were walking literally all over Manhattan, like probably at least seven miles and I wore my sandals because I did not realize how much we would be walking. My feet were killing me at the end of the day. But every time I look at this, it reminds me that I can do a lot more than what sometimes my mind tells me, you know? So don't, if I had thought like, oh my God, we're gonna walk seven miles today. I'm not gonna be able to do it. Then, you know, I would have set myself up for failure, but I did it. I did it in these shoes and it was awesome. Next up, we have this pair of flats. I got these from Saks Off Fifth. They're by Sam Edelman, who makes a lot of really cute, kind of pricier up there shoes. These are not the most comfortable, I have to say, but I brought these to Florida to travel one year when I went with my best friend for her birthday, and we were with, you know, some guys and whatever, like way back in the day. But um, they're really cute in theory. They have, it's just like this flat with like this lace up detailing. It's not great or super comfortable for long distance walking, but if you wanna go out to brunch, it's a good situation. Then we have probably my most worn pair of sandals ever. These are now my go-to clubbing shoes, my go-to going out shoes, because they are a platform heel. Do you see that? But they're still super cute and chic and you can lace them up and they're so comfortable. I can wear these out, stand for hours and never feel like my feet are dying. You can dance in them, it's awesome. I don't even wear any of my other heels to go clubbing now because these are just so comfortable. And to me, since it's so dark, I'm like, who really cares about the shoe anyway? It's not like it's ugly. And I did get these off of Toby for like $30. I've worn these all over. I've worn this in New York, I've worn this in LA, I've worn this in Orange County to the Orange County Festival. I've worn this to several clubs out here. I've worn this all over the streets here. It is such a good pair of platform sandals that are dressy. You can dress them up and dress them down. Okay, next up I have these bad boys. These are from Forever 21. They're just kind of like a slip-on heel that I love and they're so easy to just kind of dress up. Wear a pair of heels, sweater, scarf, whatever, and just pop these on and they're so complimentary and cute. I love the buckles and I got these for super cheap. I don't remember how much, but it was pretty inexpensive and they're very durable. Like you feel them and they're very heavy. They don't feel like cheap quality. I love these. If, you know, I've worn these out with my best friend as well uh, over downtown Las Vegas when we would go to bars. I remember I did karaoke in these. It's, it's so good. I just love like how a lot of these 
pairs of shoes have traveled with me and they have like that essence of the city that I've traveled with them on it if that makes sense. Now I have a lot of pairs of sandals. I just recently got these so I don't really have any stand-up memories with them. These are from Nordstrom Rack. These are from uh I don't remember where. I think Forever 21. They're just a pair of like denim frayed sandals. Super cute. Your feet kind of flop around in them so they're not my favorite but I did bring these back with me to LA this year and same with this pair of shoes. It's just like a slip-on sandal. I did wear this to my aunt's barbecue in Santa Barbara this year. And I love this pair of sandals because these are the ones I brought with me to Hawaii last year when I went with my friend Sally. Um, we had the best time in Hawaii and these shoes walk the streets of uh, Waikiki in Oahu. So I love it for that reason. Oh, and then we cannot forget these guys. These are by a brand called Mossimo, which if you don't know, Mossimo is a brand at Target. And Mossimo actually is one of my mom's clients. She is a business manager. Mossimo actually sold his line to somebody, so I did not get these for free. I went to Target and I bought these myself. They are a size eight and they are a really cute pair of platform sandals with elastic at the top. I wouldn't say that they are better for like going out than these because these are super secure. Like you have a zipper, a lace up situation. Your feet are only secured by elastic for these. So in my experience, they can fall out sometimes, but they're still really awesome nonetheless. Then I just have a pair of random slippers over here like sandals not really exciting now down to the aisle right here my go-to daily aisle so let's start with this pair this is a pair of converse i don't really like converse i gotta say i like their high tops but i don't really ever wear their low tops or anything else but i love these because they're so unique it's like two layers and you can fold this part down to reveal this like inner layer right here i think it's super cute or you can wear it up straight up like this. I gotta be honest, I don't wear this pair as often as I should these days just because they're kind of cumbersome to put on, especially if I'm in a rush on the way to work. I don't have time to sit there. You guys know the struggle of putting on high tops. It is hard. I mean, it can be hard because you're like your foot has to like jam in there and it's it's not like a time friendly situation, but I still think they're super comfortable nonetheless. These though, these are probably Adidas in general is probably my favorite sneaker brand ever. These are a pair of Stan Smiths. They have a red uh, situation going on in the back. These are actually a Christmas gift from my aunt from two years ago. I asked for these and she was kind enough to get them for me. I love that they don't have like the traditional striping right here, but they're so comfortable. These are the tennis shoes I brought with me to Hawaii uh, last year. And I have a picture of them. I'll insert it right now of me walking around the streets of Waikiki with a big old sunburn and a pair of of tiki leggings and my swimsuit wearing these shoes and they're just so comfortable and so so good adidas shoes are just like prime i have a bunch of different styles i'm going to show you but the stan smiths are like a classic and then in that similar style i have this pair this is a collab the superstar collab with um Pharrell and adidas and i don't know if i mentioned this on my channel before just because i'm hesitant to say stuff like this but i'm i guess it's going to play a part as to why i have so many of his shoes but for is actually another client of my mom's and he's someone who i had the pleasure of knowing he's awesome so talented as an artist but so real i love him and his family his wife his son oh my god like they're just amazing i used to tutor his son and i love his um camp as well so they're really 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 great people and i'm lucky enough that you know for a lot of his collaborations i receive um i receive some of them so these are from his superstar line his first release with adidas i believe for a couple years ago i think back in 2015 he had a couple of different styles but i love like the equality symbols right here the little flower detailing these are a pair of shoes i wear all the time i love pairing them with so many different outfits and then i have another pair of adidas and pharrell collabs these are the nmd style so kind of like the boost situation going on right here you guys are probably familiar if you're familiar with adidas shoes but um he's released several of these these are just the og first nmd release that he had and they say human species on it they're so good you can wear them out in an athletic way if you're looking to work out or run or if you just want to kind of run around town they're also very very comfortable and then i have probably my go-to shoe style right here there are a bunch of um 
shoes. These are by Steve Madden, really cute pair of white slip-ons. And then I have this pair from Nordstrom Rack by the brand Mia. Really cute kind of like army green with some patch detail work. Then we'll probably have my oldest and most loved pair here. These are also by Steve Madden. I've worn these so many places. I've worn these New York, LA, like everywhere in between. I wore these actually to the Super Zoo trade show two years ago here in um, Vegas before I moved here. And they're just a really good pair of shoes. Super easy to go with anything. I actually get a lot of compliments when I wear these, even though they're just like a basic black pair of slip-ons, but they're such good quality, truly go with anything. I love it. It's so good. And then we have this pair from Charlotte Roos, which is the pair I actually wore to work yesterday. They're by the brand Cupid. And they're really cute, like, I don't know, like pinky bow material. Super cute, right? I don't know. And then I have a pair of Nikes right here. These are the Free Run Fly Knits. I bought these a few years ago. Also worn these to New York everywhere, hiking, etc. They're really, really good, comfortable shoes to work out in. These are my go-to designated workout shoes. All right, then going down to this row right here, which is like my booties and stuff. I'm going to start off with this pair of over-the-knee boots, also by Steve Madden. I bought these at Nordstrom. They are my only over-the-knee boots, and they're super comfortable and you know really really styling like if you want to make a statement throw on a pair of over the knee boots they will add like the extra notch to anything and i actually bought these with my friend i went to hawaii with sally um winter of 2016 and i've worn these all over to la to birthdays to different functions and things like that and i think they're a staple in anybody's closet then i have this pair of black booties from h&m they are really cute they have like this styling back here patent fake leather just like a standard pair of boots that i've also taken with me to a lot of different places then i have these guys right here which used to be like my favorite things ever these are also by steve madden they're a lace-up kind of combat boot platform with a large heel these remind me of college like i gotta be honest whenever i would go out to the fraternity sorority row at usc if we we're going to a frat party or something else where i didn't just want to wear sneakers i would wear these and that explains why they're kind of busted but i love that because i look at this and it reminds me of all those times i was at a certain frat house and hanging out and these were just the shoes that i wore and it always made me feel super like edgy because i was always wearing like how long have i had this on me Hey, sweetie. Because I was wearing these heels, and they're a really good pair, honestly. If you don't want to just wear like a zip up pair of boots, get one like these and they'll take you to the next level. And then I have this pair right here, which is a gift from my mom. Uh, these are also by Steve Madden. I've had these since sophomore year of college, and they just are a really pretty pair of like taupe buckle boots. I love this detailing. Oh my God, I just realized all of these are Steve Madden right here. This is a pair that I think is so cool. My mom got me for my birthday last year. They are so cool with the silver detailing. I've worn this to my friend's birthday out here in Vegas. They're just like New Year's Eve. Like if you were to go out and you weren't wearing these on New Year's, I'd be like, what are you doing? It's glitter, it's so fun. The only thing I will say is that because this is kind of like a sock style booty, this zipper detailing comes up to your ankle. And if you're not wearing socks there, it can chafe and like rub up against it. So just air caution to that. And then these are a pair of pumps also by Steve Madden. They are platform pumps. I would wear this if I were going out to do interviews or if I was doing class presentations and I wanted to put on a heel. I would put these on right before class presentations um, throughout college and they always just made me feel like the extra like oomph and I think they're so dramatic when you put them on you know you're going to make a statement because I mean look at this heel. It's like then we have this pair of Vince Camutos that I actually got from TJ Maxx. They are a pair of peep-toed situations right here with a heel like this. I love these a lot. Peep-toes aren't typically my favorite style of shoe to wear, but I think this is a great to dress up a look or to dress down a look. They're truly, truly um, just really great and versatile. Last but not least, we're going to tackle the very bottom row. I'm going to just kind of like put you down here just so that we can... Because it's on the floor. All right, so... As I mentioned, Pharrell, I have a few more of his collaborations by um, with Adidas. These are like the tennis hue versions. I have a pair of Seafoam Mint Green, Gray, and Navy Denim Dark Purpley Blue Indigo. And I love these so much. They are very light, very comfortable. So if you're not into like a Stan Smith situation or if you're not into the NMDs, but you want something that's really, really comfortable, a good tennis shoe, I would definitely recommend the, the tennis hues. 
These are actually a pair I got with my friend Connie from Forever 21 earlier this year. They're really pretty like rubbery knit boots with this really pretty silver buckle and they have a really nice durable heel and I got these for like five dollars. I think they were having a clearance and I snatched them up because I was like okay yes. And then I have this pair of docks which I've had since 10th grade when docks were like making a comeback in my high school. You can see how beat up they are but I've worn these everywhere and I love them so much because they just remind me of so many different periods in my life like I would wear these here in Vegas to the desert with my boyfriend if we were going to go shooting or you know whatever in the desert and I actually most recently wore these to Life is Beautiful and they're a great combat boot I've worn these to um FYF Fest back in Los Angeles you can see I'm wearing my PJ bottoms he and then last but not least we have these guys right here these are clarks i've also had these since like 10th grade if you're not familiar with clarks they're basically desert boots and these are the corduroy variety so they're very soft and suede like and i love these so much especially for fall and i cannot wait to start wearing them again okay everyone and that is it for this um shoe collection tour i hope you enjoyed just hanging out listening to my stories and you know me sharing some of my sentimental values of these pairs behind me with you everything in my collection i mean this is my closet i think i've shown you this once before but everything to me in my closet is way more than just material possessions a lot of them have sentimental value history things that i've worn them to that really give me really good memories and things that will stay with me forever so i hope you enjoyed taking a walk down memory lane with me um thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and let me know down below what kind of sentimental value you may have with a pair of your shoes i would love to know um i honestly think they're really great because they literally are things that walked the streets of like so many different places around the world and that's why i want to do a shoe collection not so much like a closet tour and like all this stuff but if you would like me to do that of course you can let me know and i'll, I'll do that for you guys but thank you so much for watching have an amazing day wherever you are hopefully i will see you in my next video oh my nose is running that is so embarrassing Mwah. bye